when you give ChatGPT access to all of your different softwares that you use and different scenarios and workflow automations that you create in tools like make.com. And when you act as the supervisor agent, ChatGPT becomes a next level or AI personal assistant that you can give information and instructions to. It can then go off and use the various tools that you've given it access to. And it can do a lot of the work for you, for example, drafting emails, creating content, helping you with social media, creating things in your database, retrieving things from your database, acting as a knowledge store for anything, previous interactions you've had with clients, email chains, anything that's specific to your business that you have stored inside of a database. You can have all of that knowledge loaded into a building on my previous video. I'm going to show you how I use ChatGPT how I have it integrated with all of my software. If there's anything that I touch on in this video that you'd like to see an in-depth tutorial on in future videos, as always, please let me know about it. So this is what my ChatGPT currently looks like. It probably looks very similar to your ChatGPT. The only difference will be over here on the left-hand side. So these are my primary agents or tools that I've been using with ChatGPT. I've got a Gmail agent. So this is set up in such a way that it lets me interact entirely with my Gmail account. So I can draft emails with ChatGPT's help and send emails directly from ChatGPT. The Airtable agent is essentially full API access to my Airtable database backend. So it can do anything again that I would be able to do inside of Airtable, but I can just ask ChatGPT to do it for me. And um, it means as well that I can store stuff directly in Airtable from ChatGPT. I can get stuff directly from Airtable to be used in ChatGPT. The YouTube agent can get transcripts from videos. It can summarize it for me. I can then ask questions of the YouTube video. I can store bits that are useful for me inside of my Airtable base using the Airtable agent. The Pinecone agent is the vector store that brings everything together, the, the vector database that really makes ChatGPT incredibly useful. You might have heard of RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. It's whereby essentially you can ask a question of ChatGPT. It will translate that question into what's called a vector. It will then search your vector store, which in my case, I've used Pinecone as my vector store for anything that is close in meaning to that question that you've raised inside of your entire database and it will give only the relevant bit in response and it will feed all of that information back into ChatGPT so that ChatGPT has all of the context that it will need to consider in answering the original question that you gave it. One of the most important things you can be building out with ChatGPT is having a way to get all of the information, whatever its source into a vector store. I store all data in Airtable and then entirely vectorize the Airtable database and each individual table in a base. And it makes it really efficient and it ensures that whatever data is inside of my Airtable base is vectorized immediately. And it is always in sync with my Pinecone vector store. I found that when I was trying to rely on just purely the Airtable agent to get stuff for me out of Airtable, it was rolling into issues. It was unreliable. And it's because the Airtable search API still relies on traditional search technology, which is based on keywords. Whereas putting the same query into a Pinecone vector store, it knows that it's just looking for roughly something to do with Spider-Man and it will find that relevant record. Airtable is like my human friendly database, the one that I like to use when I'm inputting stuff myself or whether I'm getting ChatGPT to put stuff into it. We find things in terms of categories and tables and records and rows and related information and linked records. Whereas what's amazing about artificial intelligence, as long as all of your data is vectorized, they can just plow through everything almost instantly and find only the relevant bits just based on meaning. Um, and so that's why I have everything feeding into Airtable, for instant vectorization into Pinecone. Similarly, I've got my Gmail account integrated with the Pinecone vector store. And it, again, something I can show you in a future tutorial, if you'd have interest in something like that. Um, the last tool to show you is a webhook agent. Sometimes you just have a need to be able to trigger a webhook on the fly. It can just be a one-off automation or scenario that you need to trigger. And I found that having the ability to just trigger any webhook from ChatGPT to be incredibly useful in certain use cases. At the end of a particular workflow, you can actually have other webhooks 
offered up as part of the webhook response so that when it comes into ChatGPT here, you can simply pass it to the webhook agent and it will just do the next step. So to tie it all together, you could have a lot of research done and stored inside of Airtable. And you might have been using the web search function inside of ChatGPT to help you find lots of information. You then might retrieve that using the Pinecone agent, get all of that context and research that you've done. And then what you might do is at the end of your search in Pinecone, it might have a webhook response asking, do you want to turn this into a, a tweet? Do you want to turn this into a blog post? Or do you want to summarize the information that we've received from your vector store? And so it's just like giving you likely follow on options and something that's easy to click and trigger at a next step. You know, you can spend a lot of your time just working through this one interface. And as you come to have other use cases or needs, you can just layer that in and build out another agent as and when the need arises.